Welcome to game two. Lakut has one win, Jabash has none. This is a best of three. First of two wins. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. And here we go. Lakut going for the egg, going for the down arrow. Did well from last game, but I think Ness might be a little more evasive to that. Already going for a down throw to feigned nothing. Just waiting for him to land and get another grab. A well, uh, a smart strategy because he didn't have too much luck landing those forward airs in the last match. Yoshi landing the down air, very solid uh, momentum changer. Whenever you land one of those, you're pretty much in a great position. Yoshi down being to get back to stage. It does well for him because Ness can uh, really do damage to you if you're in the air. Yoshi thankfully has a way down to the stage. Ness tossing that up air out, hoping it'll give him a safe landing, but it did not. He's got to be careful about that. Ness's issue is definitely off stage recovering and landing. Doesn't have a good way of juking out and stalling or anything like that. So you got to be really careful as a Ness player when you're trying to get back on stage safely and not be punished. Yoshi tossing out the moves, trying to catch Ness in a, a bad position, which is easy enough to do because he is pretty floaty and he's pretty vulnerable in the air. Ness is very strong in the air when he sends you to the air and he chases you, but if he's in the air and sitting duck, a good player can really capitalize on Ness's weaknesses. Ooh, down smash sending Yoshi off stage, but Woohoo Island has that platform delightfully located just off stage. It's a pretty wide stage actually, if you look the side boundaries are not too long and the ceiling doesn't seem to be too high either. This is going to result in a lot of lower um, percentage KOs in this match. Lakut currently at 104 and sitting there comfortably, not really too worried he's going to lose his stock soon, but one grab can change the pace. This is the walk-off segment, but it's not going to lead anywhere for mo both players, they're staying safe on that walk-off section of the stage. If she's trying to land the grab, it's not working out. Dodging both players and that down smash is going to do great in spot dodge scenarios. Got him in the egg, not getting a punish, but that's okay. Getting someone an egg puts you in a good position anyways. Getting a hit is just butter on the bread, as I like to say. Getting the jab, comboing it with a, uh, a neutral air and sending Ness off stage. Ness trying to recover, doesn't need to, do the walk off and grabs that back throw. Yoshi thought he had that kill and Ness turned it around, that's the great thing about having a kill throw, you can pull off clutch kills out of nowhere like that. Go for another feign, nothing jump, a very smart decision, waiting to see what Lakut's gonna do in the air before he commits to something and Lakut just doing that up here to get Ness out. Both of these characters have very strong kill options in the air and that's resulting in a lot of uh, very quick damage and very quick KOs. No player is really staying at a high percentage. They're getting knocked out pretty quickly and Smash 4 is proving to be a pretty quick game in this respect. Kills are not, don't take as long as they did in the 3DS version, that's for sure. Especially against characters like this who can both KO pretty safely and have a lot of uh, KO options in general. Ness going for the dash guard, missing, and that down smash punishing them. A lot of down smash punishes uh, in this set so far. Both players have a pretty good hold on that. They don't like to spot dodge um, spam too much beside each other, and one of them's gonna toss a down smash out, and Yoshi grabs the kill with an up air, well placed. Very good game there. Lakute getting game two and winning the set.